Howdy 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 my beautiful Aries, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Valka Aries and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for July 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, I'll let you in on a secret Aries. Click the link right here, darling, in the top right hand corner of your screen. It'll be taken to your monthly tarot reading Aries for July as well. And let me know in the comments below how my tarot readings help you out, how they resonate because that's how I keep up with y'all. All right, and if you do enjoy my tarot readings here today Aries, all right, and you want a completely free way to support me, just go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know and i really appreciate those who take the extra step to do that to support me all right aries so let's just jump right into this here today remember aries when it comes to consuming tarot readings on youtube or any other platform consume more than just your one zodiac sign aries consume your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign now today, Aries, we're going to be getting into three rows for you. Your first row is going to be talking about your career and your financial situation. Your second row is going to be talking about your social life today. Aries, we're going to be tapping into some type of relationship in your life. Could be platonic or romantic. Could be someone in the family, darling, right? It's just your social life. And then, darling, Aries, in the third row, we are going to be getting into my personal favorite, which is tapping into some tarot messages that you need to hear. Some messages from your spiritual team trying to give you some guidance. All right. So let's get into this tarot reading right now with the moon energy Aries uh, coming in here for you. All right. Something's going to be revealed. It's like something your spiritual team has something in the works that you are not quite privy to yet. Aries, some of you guys have already started getting like this feeling, right? You might have noticed like uh, your right ear starting to ring quite a bit or just randomly uh, throughout the day. Aries, you might start feeling like some pressure around uh, just like in your auric field or just you'll start feeling like random physical symptoms. And that is because your spiritual team is planning something, Aries. All right. It's being hidden right now with this moon energy here. But when the time comes, when the appropriate time comes forward for you, Aries, that's when everything's going to be revealed for you. A lot of big things are in the works for you, Aries, and you don't even know it, right? As an analogy for this, it's like you told all your friends and family, Aries, you're just like, oh, no, I don't want to do anything for my birthday this year. I just want to sleep, Aries, right? And you you just that's with your expectation right no one's talked about it ever since you just figured that's gonna happen here and then reality is they give you the be best surprise party that you've ever had darling aries all right so i'm really excited about this energy for you remember this is going to be influencing all three rows this back of the deck energy here all right aries so let's step right into your career and your financial situation honey all right and i see money starting to happen for you aries all right you have the both the king and eight of wands coming in here as well as as well as this full energy all right the opportunity coming forward to you for your career for your financial situation here aries is an opportun opportunity is coming forward to you it's in the works right now it's not stepping forward quite yet to you but you're going to be having an opportunity to really make a difference in your life to really create a breakthrough for yourself and it's going to be uh your responsibility aries all right you have that king of wands energy adding this sense of responsibility on you where the pressure is on for you it's like your spiritual team puts you pushes you through the door Aries and then they're just going to observe and see how you react they're going to see how you handle the environment when you're thrown into this limelight right I wouldn't be surprised for you Aries when it comes to if you have like a storefront or if you do something on social media perhaps you might start receiving a lot of traction suddenly that's what I get for some of you because it's like this sense of where it's just like you're just thrown into something, uh, thrown into an environment here. And it's just like, will will Aries sink or swim? And I'm going to be honest here, Aries. I feel like you swim. All right. Maybe that's just my optimism here. Will you sink or swim? But I think you're going to swim. And I'm just even now noticing here, Aries. All right. I was I used that reference and it had no influence due to this artwork here. After I said it, I was just like, my mind was just like, wait a minute, let me look at the artwork. And then it's just like, lo and behold, honey, right? This moon energy is very fitting, sink or swim. And you're going to remain victorious here, darling. All right, Aries, I see in your career, this is going to be just a brand new opportunity for you. All right. That's why you have this full energy uh, coming in here, Aries. All right. The fool's associated. If you look on the screen, Aries, tab over, you'll see that the fool is associated associated with the number zero right that's the beginning of the journey of the major arcana because the major arcana tells the fool's journey and so it's the sense of like this responsibility new responsibility that's coming in quickly here eight of wands energy movement experimentation with other things aries 
this new responsibility here you're about to be uh having a real big challenge for you coming in here but i feel like it's going to be really prosperous you know it's just a matter of if you will sink or swim even right now aries uh, you'll notice the full energy now is noticing again where it has a sacred geometry in the water and you're about to be going backwards you know that leap of faith right into the water sink or swim that's such a fitting uh theme for you right now uh aries will you sink or swim now Aries, let's get into your social life here, darling. All right. Uh, very interesting here. You have the two of swords, seven of wands, as well as the sun energy stepping in here. So in your social life, something's going to be coming up. I get the sense of someone approaching you, Aries, with some information, with a message. It's whatever someone approaches you with that then presents a crossroads, right? It's like a sense of an ultimatum. All right. And again, you think about the sun energy, uh, Aries. For some reason, I wanted to say Leo. I haven't even done Leo's reading yet. So it's not as if I've tapped into Leo's reading today. You might, if someone has some strong Leo in their chart, perhaps you do, Aries. All right. Some relevance to that. And I'm not usually a tarot reader, darling, right? I am very human. All right. So it's just like when I make a mistake, if I cough, honey, I ain't going to make it about the spiritual message for you. Or if I mess up sometimes, you know, y'all are like my 12 children, these zodiacs. And sometimes I'm going to slip up, honey. And that's normal. But I do feel as if Leo energy has some relevance here. All right. But what you're going to be getting here, uh, Leo, <laughs> there we go. Now we got we got out of the system. What you're going to be getting here, Aries, is like the sun illuminates things and the moon is go, uh, talks about energy that is yet to be revealed. All right. So that's why it's like something interesting is going to be revealed in your social life here with some relationship. Something's going to be put onto a spotlight. And then for you, the ball is in your court, Aries, for then afterwards, after something comes to light, some news happens, some message happens, some clarity is brought to a relationship in your life. And then you're just like at this point where you're like, all right, what do I do here? All right. What path do I take? right you you're, you're being forced to have to rely on your instincts about a situation because i feel like even for you aries you don't you know that you're not getting the full information from what whatever like whatever comes to light you know it goes even deeper right so for example aries it's like you have a friend that comes forward to you and it's just like oh hey do you know that this person this and this person said this and this about you and then you're just sitting there aries you're just like huh you know huh how what you know thank you for telling me seven of wands energy but why why are all these people so comfortable aries with speaking poorly about you from this one friend that messenger here there's a reason as to why these other wands felt comfortable to say something you know and so then for you you're just like okay because i don't even feel like they realize what it is that they do I feel like whatever comes forward that gets because, yeah, I do feel as if it's like your spiritual team now, like kind of revealing this or this person just being sloppy. But it's just like whatever comes to light, then you're just left with like thinking, it's just like, OK, you know, you kind of see people for what they are from what they're not saying. What do you do after? Something's going to be getting revealed here, Aries, with some relationship. And it's like, I want you to know that you're not overreading the situation. Okay? That's the message I wanted to just say. Now, let's also acknowledge, Aries, the sun energy is the heart of y'all's energy this week for your spread. What this, you know, the sun is the best card in the major arcana here. So again, as I said, because some of you guys that might know tarot might have like you know side-eyed and you're like all right velka why are you saying that something's going to get revealed with that moon energy right because again it talks about things being hidden in the dark but intuitively dialing i was just like you know it, there's a reason as to why spirit brought up like something going on beneath the surface right it's almost as if like they're really trying to signal it's just like hey aries hey aries like pay attention to this we're like we're trying to send you this message intuitively all right and you have this feeling about it you have this suspicion because of the intuitive message that your spiritual team is giving but you're still not fully uh, respecting it, perhaps. And so I guess I had to be the messenger, darling, right? So again, things being revealed for you. But also, because it's the best card in the tarot deck, it represents 
abundance it represents freedom right it represents like what comes to light works and makes it so it works in your favor so then you can grow something from that right you still end up on top right that's why i say like aries you whether you choose to swim, like if you will sink or swim darling get my words right you swim without question now getting into my favorite row now aries getting into your tarot messages that just some important messages that y'all need to hear you got what what y'all got because i don't even look at these cards until we pull them six and ten of cups here with the five of swords okay Aries, I feel like you guys are waking up to toxicities in your life here. Some of you Aries might be like waking up and realizing like I get like a specific message here. It's like you're realizing like some family members of how like insanely narcissistic they are, how taxing. It's almost as if the more that you try making certain relationships work out, I really feel like family especially, the more the worse it is for your mental health. It's like there's certain people and that's what ends up getting revealed it's like you have felt this for a while you're just like man i i feel like i've lost my spark da, 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 da. like you have a lot of suspicion but it's just as if you haven't been like because it's been happening all in the dark aries it's been happening all in the dark there's nothing that you could have just like referenced to to be like okay this is why i feel this way this is what you know so on some level you might have even thought you're being crazy you're just overreading the situation but no like you're waking up to patterns you're waking up to what no longer serves you anymore what happens this week is like a spotlight finally from your spiritual team because they're just like you know what all right aries is not listening to intuitive messages they're ignoring our text messages honey sent to their body sent to their gut right because that's what that's really how spirit talks to you when they speak to your intuition it's just like sending a text message to your gut honey right since aries is ignoring their our text messages darling we got to put a spotlight on this. We got to we got to reveal this even more. So don't be surprised, Aries, this week. If you start noticing things just seemingly just taking like a one. Ooh, girl, not my card falling. <laughs> don't be surprised, Aries, if you notice like something just taking like a 180. Shifts are happening. Your suspicions are going to be confirmed. Your suspicions are going to be confirmed, Aries. So yeah man lots of juicy stuff here aries let's start getting into these clarifiers darling what's going on with you aries like y'all are living an exciting life can i just say y'all are living an exciting life <clears throat> all right let's start clarifying your first row here aries your career and financial as a reminder it's that king and eight of wands with that full energy all right so ace of pentacles coming in uh in here again i see financial ab abundance picking up for you guys here aries i see progression i see for my aries that step up to the plate step up to the responsibility further responsibility that the opportunities that present themselves in that way being rewarded greatly for it queen of pentacles some of you girl i listen this is part of the set aries y'all don't judge me right now i'm trying to make this work because i wanted it to be there we go i think i got it there queen of pentacles <laughs> y'all don't watch me for perfectionism honey all right go along with it queen of pentacles back to this message here some of you aries are holding yourself back when it comes to your successes when it comes to your accomplishments because you're trying to bring other people along because you're being too much of a team player at times where you need to be a lone wolf and i know how you know i know how it just seems so off or feels weird aries to sometimes accept that independence that you're being called to but i feel like it's really necessary ace of swords coming in here and then let's acknowledge darling baby girl baby boy <laughs> baby they ace of swords and then ace of cups in the back of the deck here you got three aces that came in here aries all right as a tarot reader when you see more than one ace paired especially like this darling the pages are being turned Y'all about to be hitting your jackpot. This is the green light to really push forward, but only pushing forward, Aries, 
this is a time for you to go on your by yourself i don't know why i'm being shown polar express i never even watched that movie before um or if i did it was like somebody girl i don't know what a polar i just know there's a train and it goes choo choo and there's like a polar bear or something honey all right but it's like this leg of the journey is on your own here because it's like you need to take this part of the journey by yourself to get to this pot of gold to get to that accomplishment but it also requires responsibility aries come on now it requires for you uh to ride solo okay let's clarify your second row now aries with your social life remembering it was the sun seven of wands two of swords hermit energy aries darling baby this is time for you to go by yourself right now you're this is like this sense for you it's like you're like in a snake pit currently Aries, just to be blunt, you're in a snake pit. You're sensing the snakes all around you, but they haven't revealed themselves as snakes, right? What is the quote where it's just like uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing? All right, let's just say it's it's, it's snakes and <laughs> dusty, dusty ass human clothing. <laughs> Can we say that? <laughs> You know, Aries, this is time for you to ride solo for a little bit. And also take note, again, you have the light. It's almost like for you, Aries, it's like you're seeing through, you're seeing through things, you're seeing through intent that no one else sees. And you have to keep that light to yourself. You have to accept that not everyone else is going to see that light. Not everyone else is going to see what you see. And that's why you're having to handle certain people in certain ways and put distance to yourself from them, right? You have the chair. <laughs> you have the chariot energy with the death card. Yeah, this is darling. This is your Polar Express. Hello, right here, Aries. This is your Polar Express. Now I know these are some horses, honey, not a polar bear, but this is your Polar Express. Your fast forward movement happens with that death energy, Aries. Okay, the I mean the story writes itself. The Empress energy in the back of the deck here for you. Major shifts happening in your life here. All right. You're going through a spiritual upgrade right now, Aries. Or it's just like whatever that you personally have been working through. Just like your own personal developments, Aries. And from that, just naturally, I feel like you guys have just evolved from your current social settings here. Again, there's just like this push for you, Aries, of just separating yourself currently. All right. Let's clarify your third and final row. Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Cups, Four of Cups, Back of the Deck, Two of Wands. <clears throat> Aries, this is something it just really needs to be stressing out to you right now. All right. The Wheel of Fortune is only going to be able to turn in your favor when you start acknowledging this opportunity coming in here. So many of you guys are trying to avoid respons more responsibility or getting out of your comfort zone. Some of you Aries are trying to avoid taking that leap of faith by yourself because it feels a lot scarier taking that leap of faith when you're riding solo compared to when you have your partner in crime compared to when you have like this, you know, it may not be necessarily the greatest support system, but you still are not alone in it. So it's a lot less spooky in that way. But this is really a calling for the Aries that are ready to evolve this is a calling for the aries who are ready to take action this is a calling for aries for my aries that are ready to make the wheel of fortune start turning in their favor now to get them closer to their goal because my aries that haven't lost sight of their goals queen of cups energy all right you haven't lost sight of that goal there you remember the plans two of wands you remember what it is that you're trying to build but four of cups energy you're you're losing sight of it because of the consistent drama the stresses from other people that people bring to you for some of you aries it's the sense that you had to deal with this major hiccup for yourself because you went through the past year couple years there's been because with the ten of swords it's been a long period of just like constant like damage control constant just like getting your just making sure your head is above water aries right Now's the time for you to hermit mode. Now's the time to be about your greatness and make everything else irrelevant. All right, Aries. So y'all's reading was pretty intense, Aries. All right. 
<laughs> this reading was honestly like a first for me in a lot of ways, just in how I express the messages, messages and everything. So I love you so much, Aries. Hopefully you found this tarot reading helpful in some way. If you want to give this video a like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Remember, if you want to book a private reading with me, Aries, uh, my website linked is linked down below. Simply welcome dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level are linked down below as well just simply welcome same as here uh until next time though aries i love you so much and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling